Hello everyone, this is Android Bites and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We're at the dairy farm, so let's try and milk these guys. Let's do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> let's milk this shit. Let's milk this shit. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll I keep don't looking know. around. Alright, keep me posted. We'll see, we'll see. Aren't they always pointy? <laughs> Wonder how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Hmm. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. <laughs> these generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Yeah, maybe all the food that these guys have are the previous <laughs> friends <laughs> that they trade stuff with. They make human pies. Don't trust them. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? Mm -hmm. It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Yeah. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry. All right. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. Oh, great. There's one. Sizzled. Ugh. <laughs> Lee, it's dead. <laughs> Come on, let's push Leaves it off. It. Who do you think he was? At least it's not one of us. Looks like he's stuck. Chop his head off. Okay, or, or dead. Or dead. Disgusting. <laughs> no? Oh, I guess not. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Okay, that's, that's good all. to know. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. The fence here is a little bit crooked. I love to put my fingers on those fences when I was a kid. Those electric fences? Yeah. 
Are Take you a cow? Sensation of your bone moving in your finger. <laughs> You're so strange. <laughs> it was awesome. Was it the only way you would have a, a boner? <laughs> <laughs> a moving one. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> the hands stay there. <laughs> Christ. Can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the <laughs> rations dad. earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. We'll go ask for more to uh, I might I'm hungry to... too, Mark. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good Mr. idea. Mr. Crispy. <clears throat> Please be if you're waiting me. for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. <gasps> what? A little help here, Lee. Crispy the zombie. <laughs> Etc. <laughs> Rise from your grave <laughs> slowly. <laughs> Holy fuck! What just happened? Fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Son of a bitch. What the? Get to the gate. Tractor, tractor, tractor. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Oh. With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. Good idea. Okay, nice. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's use it. Fuck. Is there more shit over there? No. Then why can't we? I stuck in the dirt. Hey, they're they're uh, complaining about Come the on. food. If we can reach the gate, so they are not that trustworthy. The ah, shit, that hurts. It was not us. We didn't did shit. Oh, there's a body there. Oh, she's, she's what straight. happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Give us the food! What about him, Hank River? Can't lure me to the outside! You fuck with us! Where do you think you're going? I knew those guys wasn't, weren't going to give us any food. One, how many of those Can things did we push down? Get out of here! You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! 
He left it open. Goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit! Are, are you okay? The bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Brenda's got you. Oh, Must be the best what kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Of course. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. <laughs> yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. The guys were complaining, the bandits, that they didn't do their part of the deal. They didn't give them any food, so, you know, I don't think we can trust them. That thing keeps a fence electrified. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. I bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. That's the same sheet, okay. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Crops. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. I used to steal corn when I was a child. <laughs> and then I would play like a mustache with those mustachey stuff on the yeah, crop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. What's kind of a disguise? I could run away without being noticed after stealing the corn. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough for me <laughs> Give me the corn in this place. <laughs> if that becomes a problem. Who's that weirdo? Oh, 
It's Gus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Can we go? Oh, there's Larry there. They're Actually, the gazebo. when he was talking about the people, uh, Kenny was already saying we could take over and shit, and he was like, no, this is good people, so Larry's not that bad of a guy. Just looking out for the daughter. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen <laughs> guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Mm, I think it's you and Kenny haven't made up. about your idea? How do you feel? Like... How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Great. So, he's the asshole. <laughs> uh... Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much. And lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Okay, Carly. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. <laughs> God damn it. Great. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. It's a gazebo, right? That's what it's called. A gazebo. Um cureto! In Portuguese. Cureto! Okay, guess. Cureto! Go search for some corn. <laughs> Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. 
Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Teach Clementine has a gazebo called in Portuguese. Cureto. Not yet. Why didn't Lee told them about I know it's what he heard it's them saying? Close. That they didn't give them food. He's being cautious. It's probably a good idea. Here. Oh shit, you found it? I don't trust this guy. I don't know why. They have Grinch faces. He just met this son of a bitch and he's like doing this stuff with him. Nah, not me. You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Watch my back. On the freaking woods. It's a zombie. No. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. Nothing. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Boxes guy. from the dairy here. Dun, dun, Probably dun. food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else oh, they got good. over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then ah, get a move son on. Of a bitch. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Where's the guy? He's probably gonna. Kick me in the head or Stay alert, Anna. Stay alert! I would be, but this guy... And don't fall! Yuck. I don't need that.
that a head? What? The hell? Don't fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. The fuck? Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. Hmm? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh. Holy shit. Why the fuck? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Yeah, I'm not trusting that guy. No way in hell. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. What a fuck. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Come on. Creepo. For Daryl. <laughs> For Daryl. Later. Yeah, I don't feel safe with this guy. They are going to make burgers out of us. <laughs> I don't like this shit. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. When a man calls his mother Mama... This isn't what <laughs> Terry would have wanted. Oh, boy. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. What happened What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? <sighs> they have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Okay, nice. Gonna help some milk. <laughs> mm. 
I got the hit, kiddo. The hit. It's still very weird, though. Okay, friends, I'm going to stay here for today. This was a bit weird. The woman had Clementine's hit. She was talking about this place being really dangerous, but she looked kind of mad. Kind of crazy. I don't know. I think most important, what? a gazebo is called Cureto. Okay, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!